Hotel California by the American group The Eagles was played on Ukrainian folk instruments like kobzas, banduras and cymbalas. And why not? Наше головне завдання це донести народну інструментальну музику. Це наше таке, знаєте, стержень наш. Це те, що our main aim is to promote folk instrumental music. It is imperative of the time that we play contemporary music on folk instruments. There are over 60 folk music instruments known in Ukraine. The lyre, tilinka, johar, floyara, zozulka, cymbalos and bandura look like concert instruments. And along with these instruments there are kabzas, buhai, rubel that look like household utensils. Musical instruments originated from household objects, just as music on the whole. In experts' opinions, the diversity of musical instruments testifies to the high music cultural level of a nation. We can play on anything available and on classical folk instruments, such as bandura. No people in the world have something like this. The bandura was invented by Ukrainians' music. Banduras were made of willow, preferably of red willow, but it is a rare tree to find. So to make a lot of instruments, banduras were made of ordinary willow. The back sounding board of bandura was made of two free parts, and the upper one of fir tree. Beach was used to tightly fix its strings. The upper layer was made of maple for decoration of the instrument. In ancient times a bandura consisted of six bass and small strings. The modern bandura has 12 bass and 50 small strings, with 4.5 octaves. A concert bandura was made by Ukrainian master craftsman Ivan Sklar in the 1950s. He added a tonality switch system to it. The tonality system made it possible to use the bandura in professional academic music. This instrument became highly popular around the world. People like it. Many foreigners, even not of Ukrainian origin, are interested in this instrument. There is one American craftsman who makes nice banduras. The kabza looks like a bandura, but it has fewer strings. Today, masters make semi-hollow kabzas to enrich sonority. Semi-hollow instruments that we made can be bought abroad. One of the girls bought it in France and the other in Germany. There are such instruments in Kiev as well and orchestras use semi-hollow instruments that we produce. Conservatory musicians also use these instruments. This is the first electric kabza ever made in the world. It not only sounds modern, but looks modern as well. After I graduated from the conservatory, I decided to make an electric kabza. Andriy Stepanovich and Oleg Stokolos have been making electric instruments for 20 years. So I suggested they make an electric kabza. They agreed and are currently developing the sphere, but at the moment there is only one electric kabza. 
роблять полуакустичні кобзи і акустичні кобзи. Тобто, а зараз поки що електрокобза лише тільки одна. This kobza doesn't sound like a traditional acoustic one. Modern rock compositions can be performed in it. I think we should make not only electric kobzas, but electric banduras and cymbalas as well. In the meantime, cymbalas look and sound traditional. They have two hammers and 169 strings. Today you can play cymbalas the same way you play a piano. At the conservatory we are taught to play classical music. We performed Bach and Vivaldi's compositions. We make music adaptations to perform Ukrainian and modern music on cymbalas. In Sainte's opinion, cymbalas were brought to Europe from the East during the Crusades. But for a long time, no holiday in Ukraine's Western regions was celebrated without cymbalas. There is an idiomatic expression that comes to mind in this connection. It's fun played cymbalas. That means I don't really care. But musicians say this idiom has a different meaning. Earlier, almost every local resident played cymbalas in Huzulshina. Cymbala music could be heard everywhere. So this idiom meant let's play and have fun. <laughs> We heard for ourselves that both folk motives, rock and Bach compositions, can be performed on folk instruments and have a great sound. Bach wrote his compositions for flute with a chamber orchestra, but we performed his compositions on sapilkas, and it sounded very good. It seems that Bach wrote this melody in the Carpathians. We have such sounds thanks to sapilkas. Thin sapilkas give higher sound, thick ones lower sound. They look like modern ones, but the sapilka is such an old instrument that it is next to impossible to find what nation it belongs to. In Ukraine, the sapilka has long occupied its place of honor among other folk instruments. In the 1960s, Ukrainian master Demenchuk modernized the sapilka and it became an academic and more professional instrument. You can play all notes of a scale on sapilka. People study this instrument in universities. You can play a sapilka to perform folk music as well as classical music. Every nation has a sapilka, a pipe. It simply differs in form. A Ukrainian sapilka has 10 finger holes and they have different fingering, which means you can't confuse them. The older a folk instrument, the better it sounds, reminiscent of the sounds of nature and bird singing. We'll tell you about a musical instrument called ocarina. This is a musical instrument resembling a bird singing and has been known as early as BC. Many nations in the world have this instrument, and Ukrainians are no exception. An ocarina can be made of clay and wood, but all these instruments have the same form and principle of playing. 
The smaller an ocarina, the higher it sounds. The bigger it is, the lower the sound. I can perform some musical piece using different ocarinas and each of them makes it sound differently. This was the smaller one. Acarina is an Italian word that means gosling. It probably reminded the Italians of the sound of a gosling squeak. But the Ukrainian instrument has a more poetic name, zuzulka. It sounds like a cuckoo bird singing. These instruments performed a magical function in Ukraine. Ukrainians believe that the music played on them serves as a talisman from the evil eye, from poor sleep. Each case had its own music, which is unfortunately lost, that stood for good health of a child, soil and livestock fertility. Musicality and melodiousness are distinctive feature of Ukrainian people. Skoromokhe and musicians are pictured in frescoes of the 11th century in the Kyiv Sofia Cathedral. One of the musical instruments in the frescoes resembles a violin. This is an old Rus musical instrument called a hudok one of the predecessors of the violin. Such instruments were used on the territory of Ukraine for a thousand years. Pictures of such instruments can be seen in frescoes in the Kyiv Sofia Cathedral. This is a primitive pear-shaped instrument consisting of a frame and a short neck. In comparison with a violin that has seven strings, it consists of three strings only. Musicians performed music using only one string, the other two produced the same tune. This is how it probably sounded. The instrument produced a creaking sound, but playing it, Skoromohe wanted to make fun of bad things of that time. In 1648, Tsar Alexei issued a decree banning all Skoromohe, and all hudoks were destroyed. But one century later, the violin appeared in Ukraine again. To perform melodious Ukrainian music, Ukrainians needed an instrument that would sound like a human voice. All peoples have a violin. Bulgarians call it Cedulka. Celtic people, Finns, Norwegians, Irishmen have a violin, which in its construction differs from others. The violin was an indispensable musical instrument to celebrate holiday wedding days. No ensemble and orchestra could do without it. I would like to say that the violin is a Ukrainian folk music instrument. Even if it did not originate in our country, it can belong to this nation and ethnos as well. If it was consistently used by this nation, has got a certain folk repertoire, was made by masters, it can be considered a folk instrument. Violinists say it's difficult to dance the Ukrainian hopak without a violin. There are many kinds of hopak in Ukraine. This dance symbolizes the Ukrainian state. Ukraine is recognized in the world for the hopak dance. Armenia is known for its hochari, Georgia for Lizginka, Moldova for Zhok. Let's dance hapak, let's play banduras, cymbalas, violins, sapilkas and zuzulkas. Let us develop Ukrainian folk music instruments to make them more popular among children, so they could play them and not be ashamed of their own folk art.